October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. It's disturbing to know domestic violence takes place every minute of every day. That's about every 15 seconds, and many times it's behind closed doors. Well, that's where my next guest, Allie Martinez from the Underground Railroad, where she comes in. Tell us about yeah. what you do at the Underground Railroad. How are you today, first of I'm all? Great. I'm great. Thanks so, for having of me. Of course, I'm so glad that you're here. You do wonderful work Thank there. You. Tell us about it. Yeah, so um, we're actually celebrating 45 years yes, um, of uh, providing services to victims of domestic violence here in yeah. Saginaw County. So that includes that emergency shelter, um, counseling and advocacy services. Um, really, it's a multifaceted yeah. um, program to serve whatever needs a survivor might have. Yeah. Housing, um, individual assistance, if they need food, if yeah. they need clothes, um, we are able to provide it. So you really take care of the that family. Every year, and I have read this, every year yeah. you help about 4,000 families. You yes. provide 14,000 safe beds for over 500 women and children. That is really amazing. Yeah. And you see the difference that you make in those families' lives. Yeah, a lot of times really all they need is that leg up. Mm. Um, it's the survivors. They're yeah. doing the work for yes. themselves. We're just providing them with those resources and the things that they need to be able to kind of have that step in the right direction. Um, we're not the ones placing them here yeah. to there. It's their own um, individual kind of courage and abilities that are getting them to that point. What's it like to see the, the faces on the kids and the Yeah, the women? kids are always <laughs> wild, right? Yeah. They're so resilient um, and so they're able to um, um, kind of bounce back yeah. and, and enjoy the space. Uh, most of us don't want to live in a shelter, uh, but right. kids are able to just make the most out of every situation, and that's really, truly incredible. And I love it, Allie, that it's really a community effort. You get a lot of help. Tell yeah. us about the empowerment. Di it's tomorrow, the yeah. celebration. Empowerment <laughs> celebration. I'm so excited. Yeah. It's also like saying a big thank you to the community, and I'm it honored is. to be the MC for that event. I know. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, we could not do it without the support of that, yes. our community, and that comes from the empowerment dinner. It comes oh. from fundraising efforts. It yes. comes from the donations that come through the donation center. And so that empowerment dinner is an opportunity for us to give back. We have an honoree. I don't want to share too much. No. Uh, I don't want to give it away, <laughs> but we have an honoree who's been mm. um, right at our side for uh, decades at yeah. this point. Um, helping us with this service. Um, so we get to honor them, we get to party it up a little bit, yes. we get to enjoy that community aspect, um, and of course, it helps us to raise the funds that we need to be able to provide these yeah. services in our community. And you're really celebrating survivors too, and yes. just what it takes to become a survivor. I love all the stories that we hear there about people, how, how many people that you've helped. Yeah. And uh, can people still attend, Allie? Um, it's in the final hours, okay. but, but we'll get you in uh, if you want to be there. Yeah, that's awesome. So tell us a little bit about where it is and uh, how yeah. people can, if they're Yeah, so that's happening at the Bavarian Inn yeah. tomorrow night in Frankenmuth um, at 5.30 um, yeah. is when the doors open. And um, if you really want to get involved, um, you can find information on our website, undergroundrailroadinc.org. Can people still help out at the Underground Railroad as well? Do you need some volunteers yeah. and all? Yeah, we have tons of volunteer opportunities. Okay. We also have opportunities to come in um, yeah. and help in our donation center, um, provide um, donations if you're cleaning out your closet yes. or anything like that. Um, and most of all, we really just need people to to believe and support survivors, to be the, our hands and feet in the community for loved ones who may be going through something and, and are struggling alone. Um, you being the person to reach out and, and let them know that resources are available is oftentimes the step that they need, the hand up that they need right. um, to be able to get away. You're not alone. Help is available. Yeah. Help is mm -hmm. out there. Thank you so much for what you do in the community on yeah. the Grand Railroad. We appreciate you stopping by today. Yes, thanks Thank so you. much. Yeah. I will We'll see you tomorrow night. Yes. I'm so excited about it. And if you have any ideas on what you would like to see on our show, you can send them to us at 4 p.m. news at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4 p.m. news spotlight. Next up